once one gets involved in the area of uh, CO2 capture, uh, one is looking at the whole spectrum of CO2 reduction technologies. Obviously the aviation sector is the area where there is no green jet fuel that is going to uh, displace uh, petroleum for the uh, foreseeable future. So potentially using CO2 either captured from power stations or removed directly from the atmosphere will uh, provide a route in the future for uh, generating uh, green uh, carbon neutral jet fuel. If you burn a normal fuel you are left with carbon dioxide uh, diluted in a high concentration of nitrogen. However, instead of using air, you use a mixture of oxygen and carbon dioxide. When you burn a fuel, you end up with a pure stream of CO2. What we're looking at here is how coals burn differently in CO2 rich atmospheres compared to normal air. And we found many significant uh, differences which are having uh, impacts on how you uh, design and operate this new technology. The application is to replace uh, traditional combustion where you can certainly capture the CO2 from uh, the flue gas, uh, but the first generation technologies are quite expensive. With oxyfuel combustion, where you are generating a pure stream of CO2, they are uh, potentially significant advantages, uh, both in terms of uh, efficiency and op operation. I've been involved in uh, coal technologies for 30 years. Um, I've lived through what some might uh, describe as uh, the dark times, the 1980s, which saw the uh, demise of the uh, UK deep mining coal industry, and during the 90s when uh, natural gas uh, was both uh, cheap and readily available. We're now moving into a different uh, times where we want to decarbonise the electricity supply by 2030, which must mean uh, applying carbon capture to uh, both coal and natural gas. And this is the reason why it is uh, particularly uh, exciting to be involved with the uh, fundamental science, because uh, the timescale to utilise that in terms of demonstrations leading to full uh, commercialisation is going to be over the next uh, decade.